this is the candid version of the Knights of Transformation. So as you can see, we're kind of starting to put up our Christmas tree over here. And on top of the ladder over there is Alessandro. Say hi. Hi. And over here we got Dante. Oh, yeah. And of course, what we're going to be talking about today is about kind of gamification, the concept of gamification, and how that kind of mixes into putting a Christmas tree up. So let's look at the idea of putting up a Christmas tree. Okay, first of all, it's not easy. Okay, I mean, you know, you got to go up on ladders and you got to pick up all the stuff and you got to do all this decoration and everything else. And I mean, there is a lot of work involved, right, guys? Yeah! Okay, but it's fun. Now, so if it's hard work, but it's fun, well, what does that mean? That means that not all work has to feel like work, right? So let's look at the factors, the psychology behind the whole idea of why sometimes work is fun. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the idea that we don't put up a Christmas tree every day. I mean, this is not our job. We're not Christmas tree developer people that put Christmas trees up. So therefore, it is something novel. And because it is novel, it has the emotional drive of diversity. And because of that, well, basically, that makes it unique experience and it makes us have fun with it. Now, the other factor is the emotions that we get of anticipation. Now, you may have heard of dopamine and dopamine basically is like the happy drug. Well, it's not. Okay. I know that other people may have told you, but it's not. Okay. What it is, it's the anticipation drug. Okay. So and it, it, it basically what dopamine does is it makes you feel like you're going to get something, not you have something. Cause once you have it, that's more of a serotonin thing, right? It's kind of like a satisfaction thing that you get like, Bleh. okay, but we're talking about dopamine here that you're getting in the process of creating stuff. And of course, when you're actually exerting yourself and doing things that also creates some really cool endorphins in there as well. So basically what happens is that number one, it's a diverse, unique experience. Number two, we're doing it together as a family. Number three, we're getting the feelings of anticipation of what will happen, which is a key factor in gamification. Plus, of course, you know, the elements of challenge, okay, the elements of connection where, you know, we're getting a little bit of uh, the, you know, um, oxytocin, the live hormone. Okay, so if you're going to do any gamification programs or if you just want to basically just gamify homework like we've mm. done in the past. Okay, yes, you want to say something, Dante? Just quick science bomb. There are five types of dopamine, and the one that the teachers are telling you is only one out of those five. That is correct, okay? And serotonin also makes you happy, so it's the serotonin and dopamine that's what All makes right. you happy. Right, give me a And there's like, like a... I think seven types of serotonin. To that's right, so seven. And where is the majority of the serotonin in your body, Dante? Weirdly enough, in your gut. That's correct. Because most okay. of your bacteria, what? because most of your bacteria actually make the serotonin, so you can actually t make your mind and what you want, what they want to their food. Because some, so like some bacteria eat veggies. So if you eat veggies, those bacteria will produce lots of serotonin, or at least the ones that can will produce serotonin to make you crave veggies. It seems there like you go. Crave thing with okay. donuts and things. So. So you, you just had to push through the the first week is the hardest. So you got to log into Dante's podcast, okay? Who's going to tell you all about neuroscience and everything else? Okay. So today, anyway, uh, if you're kind of getting ready for Christmas, that's cool. And we wish you a Merry Christmas. If you're not, that's also we cool. Wish, yeah, We're I'm wishing you whatever mouth. it is that makes you happy. And of course, the idea is that you have fun doing whatever work that you want to do. This is Arthur Karmazi. And Dante Karmazi. And I'm Jennifer and wishing you great success. Yay! Thanks for watching the Knights of Transformation. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, subscribe to Karmazi TV on YouTube.